right, well, good morning, y'all. We uh, just launched at Drake's Creek, and we're gonna head on over to the dam. First, I gotta catch some bait. So I'm gonna try to catch some bluegill. I got some worms and ultralight rods. So we're gonna hit up a few docks, a little, you know, shallow spots, excuse me. And then I've got some frozen skipjack as well. Then we'll head to the, the dam, might do some anchor fishing, um, but I really wanna drag three to four little stretches today. Um, got a few hours, so probably just gonna kinda roll with it. Um, might do an unedited version of this as well. Um, I will have to clip out the, the pee breaks because there's nowhere to hide with the camera back there running the full time. So it's gonna be a, a little warm today, so the cameras might actually get a little hot, so I may have to put some, uh, put an umbrella on it or something. Um, but at any rate, uh, Water temp is, what's that, 73.8, so right around 74. Um, there's not really any like current back here, but we're in the back of this creek, so we're pretty far back by one of the marinas. Um, so we got about a 10, 12 minute ride, and then we'll uh, we'll be at the dam. But first, I need to uh, kind of pick off some spots. I might head back over there towards that little grassy bank and try to grab some bluegill or shell cracker, see what else is out there, but let's uh, let's get moving. There's fish jumping everywhere, shad flipping. Nothing seems to want this worm right now. Just pull on up a little bit farther and see if we can't run into something up here, I guess. Ain't really wanting to spend all morning chasing bait, but dang, I don't know. But we're gonna have to pull up because this is not what we're here for. Even though it's cool to watch them, it's a pretty sight seeing them flip and whatnot. Or I think it is, but we are here to go get bluegill because we need some bluegill for catfish. So this is not it. Second spot. Had it right there on the fall. Finally. Oh my goodness. I tried to spot lock it and wasn't paying attention. Dang it. Now well, this should be there again. Come on. In September, and a lot of people just go ahead and do it. And then you got people who are just over the boating season from May to September they're done with it ready for fall and temperature wise I am too Good enough. Oops. 
see how long spot lock stays there. Surely right there, come on. It's a good spot. Real good spot. Uh, bluegill right now. I'm gonna use it for cat, catfish bait. So, catching some bluegill first. You going for crappie? Well, good luck to you. Appreciate it. All right, y'all. We, uh, we're going through the no wake zone at the marina. We're almost out of it, and then we're gonna hammer it down, get to the dam, and put some baits out. We've got seven or eight bluegill, uh, three, four, five inches, nothing great, but plenty of bait. And then we've got our frozen skipjack. So we're gonna put out two pieces of bluegill, two pieces of skipjack, uh, drag four rods today, and uh, that'll be it. But uh, let's, uh, there's a fish right there. Uh, let's put the hammer down and let's get to the dam and let's get to fishing. See y'all there. All right, so there's that. Let's go ahead and cut this bag open. I don't know, there must have been some water that got in there when I, I froze these. I don't know, it's been a long time actually, which is not great because they might have had some frostbite on them, but it's still pretty oily. And then that blood looks good. All right, so we got some bigger pieces. Oh, get that out of here. Put that here. Let's get our boards, which are up here. Got left, left, here and here. To right to left which I don't know if I'll spread them every single one I may only spread uh, one and then float the others behind us not really sure okay I don't know if that repaired well all right um, I don't know what this video is doing the camera just had some issues, it was repairing the file. So I don't even know when it cut off, sadly. But we're here, we're at the dam, it's right behind us. Um, we're going somewhere around a mile, eh, 0.5 to a mile. We're in 70 foot of water and we are going to catch some fish. I'm gonna start with this big old chunk of bluegill Tiny hook. That didn't thread good. It's closing up the hook too much. Let's see if we can't get it just right. That I can deal with. That'll hook. So, we're gonna throw two boards out to the side. Maybe two behind us, I don't know. I'm, there we go. We'll let it sink on down and then put the board on. So we're in 72. We're heading on a drop off here at the dam. There's a, it start, I mean, I don't know, 40, 50, 40 yards from here starts the slope and it's somewhere around 20 and then it slopes down to 70 feet. So I think we're at the bottom there. Good. Clip her on. 
It has been a long time since I've done this. Kind of miss it. It's so fun. There we go. Now we're going to give it a little pitch out to give it a little head start on spreading out. There we go. Move some of these rods around. I did bring some carp rods. I don't, I don't know if we'll use them, but I'm going to let that go. We're going to use this rod for the right side. port side actually of the boat. Got to get everything untangled. Got a bigger hook here so I'm going to put a bigger piece of bait on this one. I'm going with the head. I'm going to put the skipjack head on here. It's got a lot of blood flowing from it. That should be some good attractant. We're going to go In through the mouth just like that. We're gonna throw this one out to the right. That is not a heavy enough weight, I don't think, so that's gonna be a problem. I probably should have switched that, but for now we're gonna roll with it. It should still sink down, it just may not be ideal getting depth. With that head on there, that head will help sink it too. So, I mean, it's still going. Oop, I hear the siren. I don't know if it's gonna pick up on the audio here. It sounded like the siren at the dam, but honestly, I don't know. That might've just, I'm gonna let that out just a little bit more. And this one. I like to get these out and start steering the boat. I don't love trusting the uh, the heading on this thing, so we're gonna let that float get spread out. Again, I was saying, yeah, I brought some carp rods just in case, you know, if we don't catch any catfish, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch over and we're gonna catch some carp or something. Only had a few bluegill today, that ain't gonna cut it. Let's get some big blues. They're in the water, they are here, I know that. I've caught them several times, so I know we can do it. But the problem is, are they going to want the bait we're throwing today? Got two more I'm going to rig up. So Big old hook on this one, three ounce sinker. We're going to go skipjack on this. I'm going to put a good size chunk. Make sure you pop that scale off. Scale is like armor. You don't pop it off, it's likely to uh, miss a fish. I like this rod, but this reel is a little iffy sometimes. It doesn't want to cast. Like it, I know I spooled it up right. Didn't even go too far, which is fine. We're gonna probably just drag this one straight behind the boat. This is 30 pound tripolymer line on this one. This is a casking. This is their what? I think gorilla rod. And then this is one of their bait casting reels. Come on, I'm trying to sink it. Just taking time. All right, we'll lock this one. That's probably got enough to spread out pretty, pretty wide. We're going to cover about a 40 yard spread here from the right to the left. Come on. There we 
just, we'll just take the assumption that that is on the bottom. I don't know if it is or not, to be honest with you. It's all right. Leave it there. And then this one, I might put a board on it. Now this is, uh, I have never casted this rod. All right, just had to get back on here real quick. We're at the Old Hickory Dam. We've got one board out there, one board there, one behind the boat. And then this is my new catfishing rod. Mad Cats, whoop, that fixes, focuses. It's the Mad Cats Micah Burkhart signature rod. I love the color combo, the purple and yellow. It's pretty sweet. Um, just got a cast king. Bait caster on it right now, three ounce sinker. Got our little float, and then that's an eight aught hook. And we're gonna put a big old skipjack chunk on there and throw it out. But this will be the first time using this rod on the boat, so I'm pretty excited about it. But there's the dam. No hitch yet. We're dragging in about 70, what's that say, 72 foot of water. And we're on a drop off, and I'm gonna kind of take us along this ledge. Should be able to pull up something. Um, it's getting hot though. I'm about to have to take a snack break and drink some water. It's gonna get up to 90 today, I think, so beautiful day. But yeah, new signature series rod, Micah Burkhart. I think this is the old one though, because I think he has a new one out, so. Pretty sweet color combo though. I think it glows in the dark too, so pretty awesome. I think I got the medium. Well, maybe I got the heavy. Yeah, I got the heavy action. All right, seven foot, pretty sweet. All right, let's put this little chunk on there. That's a good, nice, nice old sexy chunk. Oh, I hope all those guts will stay in. Be great if it does. Should cast all right, let's see. Cast it pretty good. That three ounce weight should take it down where we need it. What I worry about this one is that the sinker is definitely not pinning the weight or pinning the uh, the bait at the bottom. It's just it's just not. But they're pulling water. I mean, we've got the motor cranked up to I think it's on two, and we're almost just sitting idle right here, which is fine for now. While I get the rest, you know, while I get this one out, I might put a board on it just to kind of keep it away from this back one. Come on, it's still sinking, dang. I mean, 72 foot of water's pretty deep. There we go. All right, get that reel out of the way. I don't know, should I put a board on? Probably. Yeah, let's just do it. I'd rather do it to keep it away from this middle one. He 
These boards are pretty sweet. I think I heard, um, got them last year. I think Dieter Melhorn, good catfishing YouTube channel, knows his stuff. Um, I think he recommended them. So I picked up six of them actually. Not the cheapest, but they're very, very durable. So good for the price. All right, get what you pay for. All right, now we got four baits out. I'm gonna get this boat going in the right direction now because it seems that our heading has changed. I'll try to get us on this bank. We need to go left or to the right actually and drag this bank. We're going point three, so I'm gonna up it just a little bit. Let's see if I can get us going that way right there. All right, that one might be hung up. Hope it pops free, come on, there it goes. Pop free or is that a fish? I think it's just hung. I didn't see that rod do anything, so I'm gonna go with it's just hung up, so. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna spread it out just a little bit more though. Give that one a little bit more play. Keep away from this guy. I'm gonna pull it back in just a tiny bit. There we go. I don't like how those are swimming, but should be all right. I might reel this one in just a tiny bit because that is definitely gonna get in the way. We don't want that. Pop it over here a little bit. There we go. That should help keep it a little bit better situated. A little bit more behind the boat. I don't want it spread out too far. All right. Oh, we got a fish here. Come on. That looked like a fish maybe. I'm gonna keep an eye on our path. Um, raise us up a little bit. I'm gonna keep an eye on our path here. We finally got all four of the rods out. Three boards, one right behind the boat. I'm gonna sit in this chair for a minute, drink a water and then try to keep an eye on our course here that we're heading. I feel like if we can get a little bit more right there, that's where we need to go. We're going point four, so we're going pretty slow. This one might be hung up on something, but should pop over. We've got some pretty good line on. All of them have at least 30 to 40 pound uh, mono. I think the one on the far right, that has braid, but the rest of them have mono or uh, tripolymer line on it. So we got three, three pieces of skipjack and one good size bluegill. different hook sizes on a couple of them. I think we got seven aught, eight aught hooks on the big chunks. And then the bluegill I put on like a two aught, which is uh, a little small for that size bait, but the hook's exposed. So if a big enough fish comes, it should be able to maybe snag him. So Ooh. It's getting kind of warm. I'm gonna put this umbrella on this camera because it's gonna overheat in the sun today.
pretty sweet little uh, umbrella. It just slides into like a cold shoe mount, which most cameras have those. So in the GoPro, the accessories, the mods have it. So makes it easy just to give a little bit of shade to your camera. That'll keep it out of the sun, but we can still see what we're doing. I need to tighten up the drag on this one. It keeps peeling a little. All right. All righty. Big fish out there. A lot of carp, a lot of carp out here. I didn't know that until I actually, excuse me, started fishing for them. I used to have no clue what the fish were. I just kept seeing these huge fish surface. Well, if I can get my phone, I gotta see. Let's see what I'm doing. Well, all right. What time, what are we, we've got them spread out. We got a 40 yard spread at least. Let's check our map. Need to make sure we're on the right spot. We're coming up that, I don't want to work up this ledge. I want to just, I want to travel down it, so. Only thing I'm worried about, and I'm not worried, but what I don't like is that I don't have heavier sinkers. And so my, my worry is that this one behind the boat is not on the bottom and it is actually just floating. We're dragging it and it's probably up in the water column, which is fine, suspend fishing, you know, can work. So we'll just keep at it, but dang it. Wish I had a better, heavier sinker on it. getting warm so we'll go about 0 0.4 0 0.5 and we'll drag this for probably about half a mile so a pretty good stretch should end up with something I would imagine at least a channel if we don't find a, a good size blue in here I am ready for the cold winter months of fishing when nobody else is out here just a few maniacs and uh, the water will be calm no traffic that is my favorite time to fish That might be a fish. Oop, there we go. That's a fish. Is it? Uh, yep, yeah, I think that's a fish. Or we're hung up good, I don't know. Can't tell. I think it's a fish. If it ain't a fish, he done got us hung up good. Nope, it's a fish. I feel him, there he goes. Oh baby, this is it. I'm gonna work my way up here, since that camera's back there, and to try to pull him around. There we go, didn't take us too long. Now the problem with this is I can't tell his size just by, right now, the current with the dams having one of the gates open, from what I can tell, there's a lot of water being pulled, so this current is a little stronger. Ugh, gosh, this is heavy. It's either a big fish or the current is just so strong today. 
that anything's gonna feel big. I'm getting him up, taking my time with him. With some deep water. Oh boy, don't you get us tangled over in anything, come on. He's very, very likely to get us in a tangled mess here. With these other lines that we got out, come on. I think it might be a blue. The way he's feeling. I think we got our first blue for the day. Come on, baby. Still, like I said, just taking our time with him. In this deep water, oh my gosh, I hope that one on the left looked like it might be bending. Um, this deep of water, you gotta take your time with them. Gotta protect these fish. There's no need to horse them in. If they're hooked, there's a big fish by the boat. If they're hooked, they're hooked, you know? You're not gonna, I'm gonna give him a little bit of drag if he peels any. Oh. He's coming up just real slow. Real slow. How big are you? I can't tell. I'm going to guess at least 15, 20, but this current just makes it so difficult. He's pulling hard. Probably need to give him more drag if he can steal it to avoid him breaking off. Where is he at? Come on. I've taken my time with him. So I'm not concerned anymore about the air bladder. He's had time to burp quite a bit. There he is. It's a good blue, it looks like. Good blue. That's what I get for not having my net out. A dummy. This net ain't nearly big enough, I can tell you that. Not for a fish this size. Oh, goodness, come on, baby. Where'd you go? Yeah, it's a big blue. 20. Easily a 20. Gosh, maybe go 30 or 25. Whew. There he is in the net, baby. Got him. Huh. Whew. You were a lot of work, dude. You were a lot of work. Gosh, big old fish. Big old fish. Whew. All right. Get the pliers out and free you. Get this hook out. I'm gonna weigh you in the net. That's a good blue right there, baby. <laughs> I ain't caught a big one in a while. I hear you, I hear you. You wanted that right there, didn't you? Oh, you done made me break my leader. I'm gonna need you to turn over, dude. So I can roll that hook out. Yeah, ramp, ramp, ramp. Well, I'm gonna get the hook if you let me in there. There we go. Whew, what a chubby little thing. Gosh, I don't know if I got gloves or not to pick you up. 
I might, yeah, I think I do actually. They ain't for holding you, but you're gonna have to get some FaceTime in the camera. You're a big old boy. Yeah, I mean, he's, that is a, that's a solid blue right there, baby. That is, he's over 20. I don't know exactly, he ain't a PB. My PB's 45, so. But that is a big old blue cat. Whew. All right, came up out about 70 feet. He was down there deep. Real pretty though. Get a little chunky down there. Let's weigh him real quick in the net because I'm just curious how much he is actually. <clears throat> If you even fit, you don't fit. I'm gonna have to get me a bigger net. Zeroed it out. Let's see. What is that? Oh, that's in kilo. Uh, yep, right at 20. 21 in the net. Take off pound and a half for the net. Right at 20. Oh. Let me get my phone out real quick. Felt good about it with the current today, so we did it. Woo! All right, first blue of the day. Came out about 70 foot of water. He is right at 20 pounds. I went ahead and weighed him, but there he is. What a fish. Had a hit on that outside board already, but this one came on skipjack chunk, big old chunk on an eight aught hook. And we're still dragging this ledge and uh, got about another half mile to go, but Let's get this guy back. He's been out for a minute, so I'm gonna throw him on back, but what a fish, what a beautiful fish. Come here, look at you. Let's see if I can't pick you up one-handed. You're only 20. Yeah, I mean, big old fat belly on this thing. Look at him. Gosh, they are something else, I tell you that. All right. Get another good picture of him, this back camera. That is a 20 pound blue, pretty solid. Belly's getting fat, I'm gonna let you go, buddy. All right, you ready? There you go, back he goes. That was awesome. Oh shoot, uh, is that hung up or a fish? I think this is a fish. I don't know, it might be hung up. Nope, that's a fish. Drag's too loose. Come on. I was just showing off a, a blue, and sure enough, got another hit. This one's in, I don't know, how what are we in? 65 foot of water. Feels like a decent little blue. He ain't fighting right now too much, but I can feel him down there. This is gonna take a minute to get him up out of the deep water. I was just showing him off. I was showing off the 20 pounder we just landed. And then this rod bent over. So there I can feel him now. Let's see if that board is in there. Come on. Give a little bit of pull. Make sure he doesn't get behind the boat and tangle up these other, these other lines. I'm gonna go up here again. See if I can't.
corral him over this way. Doesn't feel too big. The takedown wasn't very crazy. Ah. But he's on there. I gotta pop that board free. That's the one thing about these boards, sometimes they don't pop. All right, throw that back out. Now we can get him in here. He's on there. Trying to hold this phone in my hand and reel at the same time as going, it's a little difficult, but let's horse him in a little bit. I don't want him to tangle up those lines back there. He's not fighting too hard, actually. We are in 65 foot of water. So it's possible that it's just harder to fill him with the current. I don't feel any rolling or anything, so maybe it's a channel. Any fish in this kind of current feels pretty big. I think the uh, TVA said 20,000 a second. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Now that felt like a blue. Taking my time with him. Don't want to horse him in out of that deep water. Got to let their air bladder. Got to let them burp on the way up. Got to protect them. Keep them safe. Not trying to kill these fish. Not today. If we catch any small ones, I might keep one or two, but that is not a small one. Another uh, 15, probably close. Yeah, 15. There he is. If he chills out, I'll go ahead and net him, but he's still a little feisty. Come on. Come here. Get over this way. All right, Let's see if I can't do this one-handed. Hold the phone and the rod and net him with the other hand. There we go. Whew. I would say on that lift, somewhere around 15. So we're in a section of them. 15, 20 pounders here at the dam. So this is our second blue. They both hit in about, I don't know, five minutes of each other. Pretty old fish. All right, now let's get you unhooked. Where's my pliers? I will show you off for just a minute. All right, got that out. There he is. Let's hold him up and see. He gonna bite down? Eh, I can't get a good grip on him. He ain't biting. 15, somewhere around 15 pounds. Belly's getting big. Just a nice fish. We're gonna get him on back in there though. About 12 to 15. Feels pretty solid. He ain't as big as the first one, but still pretty good fish. That belly's fat, look at that thing. Oh, he's getting heavy. All right, I'm gonna get him on back in there. Let's get you on. Go. All right, buddy. There he goes. All right, I'm gonna hop on off here and get these baits back out and see if we can't catch some more. Whew. 
<sighs> well, dang it. We gotta get this one back out. This is the one that's still rigged up. We lost our, our hook on that other leader, so you have to redo it, but it's all right. Let's see, which side is this? That's this side. All right, what are we in, 67? I'm gonna get us going a little bit to the right. Kinda going a little. Still going about 0.4. We caught that 15 pound blue, tiny little, tiny little two watt hook. Whew, that was the, uh, the, blue, the bluegill, shoot. All right, well, so we've got one on skipjack, one on a bluegill. Not a bad start. Let's go ahead and cut up another one and get him out there. Come here, come here. I'm actually gonna use you whole, I ain't cutting you up. You're tiny. Got to clear that scale. All right. Should be able to get him down there. All right. Let's see. We're going to throw it on out there. Let that sink. Get the board on. We got about another uh, quarter mile maybe to go. Not too far, but far enough. Still nothing on these behind the boat. They both got skipjack on them. But that's uh, it's refreshing and uh, gives me a sense of optimism that the frozen skipjack actually worked. I was pretty worried that it, it wasn't gonna work today. Um, so I'm very, very happy that that pulled in a fish needed that fish that first one was fun second one still fun just the fight wasn't as good in him and I'll be honest with you I'm a little spoiled on fighting fish because of carp and this is nothing like fighting carp this is just a just a different game There's nothing wrong with it I like I love catfishing I like all kinds of fishing, if we're being honest. I gotta retie this leader for this other one, it sucks. I might have a few pre-tied in the uh, one of my boxes, I don't know. I'm trying to let this board out a little bit more to the side. There's still big fish jumping everywhere. Good current flow today. A lot of water getting out. 65 foot of water. The water temp's up to almost 76 now. We are catfishing, baby. This is it. This is it. This is fun. Peaceful too. I mean, it's so peaceful and relaxing to do this. Like, because it doesn't take a lot of work. You get to be out on the water. Sorry, I'm up in y'all's face with this. I'm trying to let out a little bit more line for this board on the starboard side of the boat. Just a little bit more to get it away from this one behind the boat. There we go. That should go out about 20 yards to the starboard side. This one's out about five, 10 yards. And then we got one behind the boat and I'm about to throw the other one out once I tie on a new leader. What all did I lose? I think I just lost a, uh, Just lost the hook. The hook, I didn't even lose it. It just came untied. Oh, 
God. I'm so stupid. I knew, oh, I am stupid. I knew not to come over here. I knew it. But I'm so stupid, I wanted to try. Because this, uh, this has been a pretty decent little spot for me in the past. I mean, at least, you know, what's, uh, I mean, it's not funny, but usually, you know, you can tell people who, you know, know the water or fishermen. Because that guy right there, I mean, he took the long way around me not to disturb me. And then you've got this big old four motor boat coming in another wake boat of Malibu next to it, going probably about 30, and they're about to just rip it wide open through here. And there's just no need for it. There's really no need at all. I'm gonna turn right to get out of their way just a little bit, dang, because this is getting rough. up, I guess. Dang it. <clears throat> These two probably done crossed each other, actually. <sighs> All right. It's a good area to fish, but yeah, like I said, it's, it's also full of snags, and you're going to get hung up. This is a bad hang-up spot. I popped it out. Yeah, we're going over a lot of rock right here. Now this one's hung up, ain't it? Yep. Just bouncing with the water. Come on, tighten up the drag and see if we can't get it out. <clears throat> ah, this one's hung up good. This will be the nail in the coffin for this spot, I can tell you that. Damn it. Have to break it out. Shoot. It's a big old hang up right there, I can tell you that. <clears throat> yep, we're cutting it free. I ain't dealing with that today. She hung up good. Not much I can do about it. It sucks. All right, let's pull them up. Let's go to another spot. It's not out here on this channel. There's just too many people, too many boats out here to be catfishing right now, sadly. Ugh. And I get this in. Get the drag tight, everything. 
Might have lost this one too. There's a second one. All right. frustrating but it is part of dragging if you're going to drag you're going to get hung up sometime or another if it wasn't so rough over here i'd i'd stay but it's too rough with the traffic i mean this is a very busy lake and i'm in one of the worst possible stretches for doing what i'm doing this is not a good spot at all. All right, let's pull her up. All right, well, this microphone died, so that's not working, but We've had a pretty long day out here, about four hours, maybe five actually by now. But uh, we caught those two blues, 20 and 15 pounder. Uh, we tried to hit another spot, no luck. Boat traffic was terrible. Uh, pulled back into the back of this creek. It's still kind of rough. There's a lot of boats. There's a few restaurants down this bank, so a lot of traffic kind of pulls through here, but. At any rate, that's going to kind of do it for today. Uh, two fish, it was good to get out on the lake, good to get out on the river and go by the dam. I haven't catfished in a while, so probably start cranking that up the more it gets colder uh, as we head into winter. Especially as less people get out here, we can drag the river without a lot of uh, disturbance. So, at any rate, I'm going to reel these in and uh, get on home and get me a snack. So. Appreciate you guys watching and see you on the next one. Thanks.